Well, hello, second graders. Today we're going to read a book called Respecting Diversity. Let's look up what diversity is. Diversity. Means. Diversity is the condition of being different or an instance or point of difference. So respecting people's differences is to respect diversity. Now, as you can see, I am in a different place right now. Maybe I look different than I normally do in the classroom on Zoom. So think about differences as we read this text. Written by Anastasia Suen. Remember too that we're going to read little excerpts or parts every day. So you don't need to listen to the whole thing. Pay attention to where you need to begin and to pause each video in order to complete the lesson. What is diversity? Diversity is a fancy word. We use it when things are different. Plants can be diverse. There are many plants in the world, but they are each different from one another. Each plant is unique or special in its own way. Oh, connection to our module unit, right? We're already starting to research those differences in plants. There is diversity in every area of the natural world. People can be diverse too. Yes, people are alike in many ways, but they are also different. The way people look on the outside can be different. The skin we live in comes in many different colors. Our heritage or the things passed down from our family from generation to generation can be seen in our skin, but that is not all that we are. We are more than what we look like on the outside. The way people think can be different too. Not everyone has the same beliefs. We don't all eat the same food or play the same games. We don't all practice the same religion or believe in the same political party. Everyone is different in some way, even you. It's okay to be different. Diversity is a fact of life. It's how you act when you encounter these differences. That's really what matters. The captions say, despite our external differences, external being what's on the outside, we can work together as a team. This caption says, every culture has traditions that we can share. And this caption says, can you look beyond the disability and see the person? When you meet someone who has a disability, what do you do? Do you stare? Do you ask what is wrong? Do you focus on the differences? Is that person's disability all that you see? Don't let someone's disability interrupt a friendship. Jumping to judgment. It's very easy to see differences on the outside. Unfortunately, we often make judgments based on what we see. We judge before we know all the facts. That's prejudice. When a new student comes to class, it's easy to look at the outside and judge. When the person is not the same as you, it's easy to say that they are bad. But that judgment was made without all of the facts. How would you feel if everyone was staring at you? This caption says, playing together is a good way to get to know someone. When you meet someone new, don't make a judgment. Have an open mind and welcome them instead. Take time to get to know that person for yourself. Sharing a meal together gives you time to talk and get to know one another. You may have a lot in common with people who look different than you on the outside. You may find out that the new student likes the same things that you do. You may play the same sports. You may eat the same food at lunch. And guess what is a great time? When is a great time to find that out? At lunch punch, that's right. Music is a universal language we all share. You may listen to the same music and go to the same movies. You may have the same favorite subjects in school. You won't know what you have in common unless you ask. Don't miss out on the chance to make a new friend. You guys are wonderful about doing this when we share Spotlight Student too. Dealing with differences. Sometimes it feels like life would be so much easier 
if everyone was just like you? It's not easy to accept that everyone is different. Have you ever told someone, why can't you do it my way? Do they say the same thing back to you? Just because you live together doesn't mean you think the same way. Even brothers and sisters have their own ideas. But you know that even at home, that's just not the way it works. Even people in the same family like to do things differently. No one likes to be told what to do. It's almost impossible to make other people change. They don't want to do what you say, and they don't want you to tell them what they should do. Well, to be honest, you don't like it when they tell you what to do either. How do you deal with differences? The answer is tolerance. You can decide to let other people be who they are. You can decide to accept the fact that everyone is different. Not everyone looks or thinks the same, and that's okay. You don't have to judge everyone around you. You don't have to try and change other people either. The truth is, the only person you can change is yourself. You don't have to change the other people, but that doesn't mean you can't change the world. You can work with others to help make our world a better place for everyone. Respecting diversity means respecting other people, whether they are like you or not. It also means that you respect yourself and your own differences. Accepting diversity means understanding that you are unique too. There is no one else exactly like you.